We're on. Scott's on. What do you want me to do with this? Just grab it? You're going to have to be careful where it is. <laughs> I know. I'm going to try to beat yeah, it. Yeah, if you can grab it, grab it. I'm try to beat it. Sorry, man. Hold on. Oh, I lost. Oh. Here. Oh, you got the beat? It was in my hand. That's why I had to let go. I freaking... Uh, I'm actually really lucky that that snapped. It snapped, I lost the fish, and the hook went in my hand. Yeah. Look right there. <laughs> I didn't get the barb though. Six pound? Yeah, what are you doing? You got 15, he's got 15 pound braid on. 50, 50 pound braid. 50, <laughs> 50 pound braid. And then a fi and 15 pound leader. Where, you at, where are you at with your rod? You, you got a rod for the 1950s? Check this yep. out. Yeah, yeah, I brought vintage rod. Is it gonna break? I don't think are so. Are you gonna have to baby it? I don't think so. Look at this. How, is, that, is it 50 years old? Probably. It's gotta be. It's a bamboo. It's not bamboo. <laughs> it's the new technology from the 1950s. It's like taking a child fishing. You gotta teach them everything. So yeah, we're gonna do some city fishing. Jeremy came up to Southern Ontario. We're gonna do a couple hour drive over to the cabin after and hopefully eat some fish if we manage to get any. So we gotta get Jeremy educated on the salmon things. He thought we were gonna like park it down at the mouth of the river and just sit in a chair and wait for things to happen. But so you got the new duds? Yeah. Yeah. You're the fanciest guy out here, so you better... Probably. I better catch the most fish. <laughs> right, is it? Yeah. I saw another guy with a spin reel, a little eight foot spin reel, so... Oh, yeah. Or six foot, maybe. A little tiny hook like I would use for catching creek speckle trout. Very, very small egg hook. Yeah. That's not, that's not what I uh, thought we'd be using. Got a little split shot. Another split shot a little bit further up. So two splits. We're going to put row on here got the uh, swivel and the sw then the swivel you need because I didn't use a swivel last time yeah and my line was all twisted up oh okay real bad uh, I thought it could tie directly on you can but you can that I mean you're going for 50 pound yeah braid yeah yeah <laughs> which the fish will see yeah I mean they'll avoid it at they'll avoid yeah, yeah they'll yeah. avoid it and okay. then you got a float yeah that's it yeah and then we hook set we hook set downstream I learned that last time because I missed a couple fish set upstream, you're just gonna pull everything out of its mouth. Oh, I see. I don't know if I got like, it'll be fine. cashew dust in there or something. It'll be, fine. it'll be extra flavoring. All right. The white one is actually from the road that me and you got last time we were here. Yeah. Oh, it's fresher? Yeah. Follow your float with yeah. your rod tip. Yeah. 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 So you As wanna cast down. upstream then. So yeah, you wanna cast up them. with them and then right down into them and then. Okay. Yeah, most of these fish you'll see. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna be sight fishing as best cool. we can. Hopefully if we see some. Yeah. I'm hoping it changes because we we, went, we were down there already and we didn't see too many compared to last time. But it could change any time and they'll start kicking up. If we get a little bit of a rain shower, that would help. It's my first time doing this. Actually, it's my second time. I um, fished trout on, or salmon on Manitoulin Island when I was like 18. I uh, didn't know what I was doing. Snagged one. Didn't know you couldn't snag them. Did you, ca did you keep it? Can I say that on YouTube? <laughs> I broke the law. But I didn't know it at the time. You're gonna admit that? Yeah. I guess there's no evidence of it. You're just making that well, up. It's just like, a tall story. People make mistakes. Yeah, you're supposed to put those uh, ones back. There's a statute of limitations, isn't there? On <laughs> fishing infractions? I don't know. Like now I know. <laughs> now you Maybe know. Maybe you didn't know and now you know. Not yeah. you. You gotta you know. the ones you keep you gotta be in the mouth. Like the one we caught this morning before we got here. We hooked it in the tail, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we purposely let it go. Yeah. I actually hooked Chris reached down and just <laughs> threw his hand right in it to make it pop off. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I actually tried to catch it. Hook popped off and it ran right in my hand, almost. You guys can ID this. You know exactly where we are. You thought there wasn't going to be a train this morning. Catch some fish. Enjoy the, the great outdoors with all the traffic noise and all that stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll show Jeremy around town. South doors. The south doors, yeah. It's a little different, but uh, Again. still worth coming out. What's happening, Jer? Well, there's a giant salmon right there. So apparently I just have to keep doing this a thousand times and I'll catch it. It's huge! What happened? I scared him. Where's it going? He's, he's like a giant beached whale skipping over the rocks. He didn't like getting bumped, I guess, with the hook. I don't know what we do now. We look for another one. We chase that one. 
<laughs> well, watch, watch what Scott's doing. What's Scott doing? He's spotting for it. That's right. He's watching. He wants to see where, where it's going to drop back I to. I think it stopped in that calm spot. I didn't see it skip over those far rocks. So so how many have we seen so far? That's the first one. one. So uh, naturally, we're going to go after it. Yeah, yeah. So that was your shot. Yep. <clears throat> now and Scott's going to get a turn. Well, we'll see what we'll see what Scott can do. You can't stop. You can't you can't put a harness on them for too long. Yeah. So you spotted it. You got a chance at it. Now, now Scott's going to try to find it. I think it's lower. Well, he, he can't find it. Well. Oh, Scott just missed him. <laughs> Something. He's in the bushes now. <laughs> He's up in the trees. Not that many fish here today. We walked up probably a kilometer. Not seeing much so far. Hopefully we at least get one. Something to eat at the cabin would be nice. You can't catch a fish if you're in the bushes. All right, you're out. He's out. Now we gotta. Now we gotta see who's gonna get. <laughs> I gotta get in there. Now we're gonna get the technology really going. That's how you want it. Yep. Just like that. Get this taped up and we'll see if we can't see some fish. All right, the one right over top of that. <laughs> that won't work. All right, see what we see. Uh, Scott's got the uh, aqua view in there. He's doing some recon because we fished this for now 10 15 minutes We're not getting any hits or anything I mean he can't really see too well on the on the viewfinder. I have to check when we get back But he's not seeming to see anything. I don't know where that fish went It seems like this is the pool it would have stopped at because I mean, there's no, another bunch of riffles here. It's riffle riffle so maybe it's out somewhere in between but this is the natural place for it to be and it's not here so I don't know, I guess we keep going and see what happens. Jeremy's way up. You seen anything? Nothing. Nothing. All right. It's got to be in here because it didn't go down and it didn't go back up. Scott's right in there. He's like a marine biologist now. Right in there no. doing some research. Who knows? We'll find another one and catch it. <laughs> Jeez. See him? Right here. Yeah. There's three of them. What's the one behind there? Is there another one? Right here. Are you sure they're there? Are they just shadows? Lost sight. Oh, here, 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 here. Right here. Two of them here. Coming your way, Scott. Coming right towards us. Right in front. Both of them. <laughs> You're spooky. Right here, Jay. Right there, right there. How many hooks you got in there? Okay. I'll go slow because I'm gonna spook them. Let him, let him fall back if he wants to. Oh, go around. You want to pull him back? I don't want to pull her because it's, it's a full run. Yeah. That's why it take a half hour. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. That was a fight. Whew. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. I didn't know if I was going to make that happen or not. Whoa. So this is a giant female. And the reason why I know that, I can, I can guarantee it. Good enough. Female. Zero sign of a kite. Nice. That's a big fish too. Perfectly hooked. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. Nice. Came right out. Give you this. Yeah. Watch yourself because the hook's right here. They're both right there. Okay, two hooks are out. Yeah, both okay. hooks are out. If you want to just... All right, get it. Yeah. There we go. That'll and do. And we'll flip the other side and do the other side too. Sure. Put your hands. Okay, Good. done. Perfect. The glasses are on top of my bag. Can you throw them in your bag? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. Got a nice little fish here. Be good for you guys for the smoker tonight, or however you guys end up cooking it. Yeah. Put up a nice little fight. We probably went up. <laughs> yeah, 300 yards probably. And like four or five different sets of rapids. Put up a good fight. And then uh, Chris got his hands on it and we got her in. Lift it up, lift it up, let me see it. I'll hook here, I'll dance. Uh, Beauty. What do you think, at 20, 22? I'm thinking it's in the 20s for sure. Yeah, it's in the 20s. It's minimum 20s. Alrighty, here's our only fish, so we're gonna do a quick and dirty clean job here. Right on the rock. I can get up here. There we go. Oh, we gotta protect the eggs. I got a bag right here. Okay. I'm gonna put them in. All right, I guess we should get the eggs out first. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay so we got a bunch of eggs we're gonna keep for the next adventure. That's a huge mess of eggs too. Watch that bag's open. Egg sack bag. Skeen. Yeah. That's one. That's a good mess of eggs. And that's only one half. There you go. That's two. That's an, <laughs> that'll make some bro. <laughs> Using that knife from Hooligan's Forge. Super sharp. We're gonna go down the backbone here. Another week, that fish wouldn't have been any good to eat. Yeah, it's gonna still be. It'll still be okay right now. Another still, week and it wouldn't have been great. Should be edible. We're all the way down here. I don't normally fillet fish, but I uh, find on these, they're just too big to do anything with. So I've been practicing filleting on the last ones. Try to do nice long strokes, even with this short knife. And we don't fragment the meat too badly. You wanna hold that up, Scott? Yeah. I just don't want, I want to keep it out of the dirt if I can't. Probably have to rinse it a bit. Yeah, go ahead and rinse it off. Cool, Let's see the other side? Look at that. Look at that big slab of meat. Yep. Nice. That's three pounds. Three pounds, yeah. <laughs> Minimum three pounds. Well, as you guys can see, we got a cooler up top here with ice in it. So it's all ready to go. We don't waste any of the meat. There we go. Halfway done. One more to go. Was that 15 man hours of fishing or something like that? <laughs> and we got long day. And we got one fish. It was a slow salmon fishing day, but we got a cooler full of stuff. You happy you got some salmon? Mm -hmm. We uh, we didn't get the timing right, but uh, I'll get I'll get another crack. But I know it's going to be a lot busier next time, so that's why we tried to avoid the crowds. Yeah. Of course, we avoided the fish too. But hey, <laughs> well, it's going to be like a light switch went on. It's it's all of a sudden it's 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 going to snap and everything's going to start running, and it's going to be like holy moly. Yeah. There's a lot of fish in here. Well, we need only three. There's three things, right? There's time of year, there's rainwater, and then there's temperature. So we, we missed those. <laughs> We're going to head to the cabin. It's going to be a couple hours from here anyway, and we've got to hit the big the big roads and all that stuff just to get out there. But uh, I'll meet you over there, and we'll uh, continue the adventure. Jerry gets to see the cabin. You guys get to see all the upgrades. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited to see what's going on. I think Kevin's got a new project we might be able to use if it's done on time with this very fish. We'll get to cook it up. So see you guys over there. All right, well, several hours later, 
several, really several hours later. So several hours later, it's almost dark here at the cabin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're pretty bushed. You can't tell, and the camera picks up so much light, though, eh? Yeah. No, it does a good job. But it's, uh... We got like 20 minutes of light left. Kevin's uh, working on another project over here, which we were hoping to use, but I don't think it doesn't. It's almost ready. It doesn't look ready. <laughs> it's almost ready. I see the door. Let's uh, throw a little teaser out here. You're going to put a door. We're ready to go. I'm putting it. I'm building the door right now. This is the next step. This is why if you ever watch any of my videos, they always look like they're rushed because they are. <laughs> well, we're hoping to put the fish on the smokehouse. It's just got a, you just need a door and a rack. Just <laughs> a little rack? No, just a couple pieces of wood here. Okay. So you're convinced this is going to work first try though? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we won't be cooking Look a fish. Look how cool this is. Well, you could like live in here. We won't be smoking a fish in there. Oh, this is the, this is the wood storage. It's the hobbit bunk. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Jerry's sleeping tonight, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God. What? I, I just tired. Huh? Uh, no, I I did nothing today. Well, we won't be eating we won't be eating smoke fish tonight. That's for sure. Well, you could. We're gonna have Midnight to fish? rummage around in the forest with some things. Take Jared on a bit of a tour. Want to have a look around? Yeah. We'll let Kevin finish up here All before right. it's too dark. Or do you need help? No, nah, need... I'm just making a door. You just gonna whip it up? I'm just gonna. Okay, we'll let him whip it up. Bing, bang, boom. I stay out of his way. <laughs> he's he's actually filming that episode for uh, his channel, Modern Self Reliance. So we got water now, Jerry? Yeah. Yeah, does it is it working? Will it work? Uh, Where, where's the? Well, we gotta plug it in. It's, it's Jenny Hutch. Okay, can you do that? You want to show it? Yeah, I want to show it off. It's probably too dark now. Well, we got lights. Yeah, turn turn it on. Check out that view now, Jer. What do you think of that? Yeah, duck hunting right off the porch. <laughs> well, I was hoping, yeah, co combination of duck hunting and maybe <laughs> they would like a deer. It's like the perfect spot for a deer just to poke out. Oh, I thought you were gonna put a couple carp in there and then do some carp shooting off the porch. I don't know. I'm hoping for trout still, but it's only three and a half feet. So we still got the animal stuff. Oh, look at that. The, the rack's all wired up on top now. That's cool. Nice. You got tired of it. You being I, on I got table? tired of moving that stupid thing. <laughs> Looks good out there. There's gonna be um, uh, um, evaporator build. Probably around here, log cabin. Okay. Out of the pines from up there? Yeah. Out of logs. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we'll have a, try to hopefully get a proper evaporator put down in here. Kevin's talking about putting a um, meditation cube. Okay. <laughs> so it's gonna be on stilts. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna call it a tree stand, but he can call it whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be, uh, he's like three, four feet, and then the roof would be 10. I'm like, how about we go 10 feet? with a six foot so like 16 feet and then when you you hang out inside and then when you see something you climb up top and then you proclaim it well like way up on top yeah Ooh, it's a heavy door if i could do it one handed there we go so the orcs can't get in <laughs> yeah right yeah. people are saying oh you're gonna get all kinds of animals in there like animals can't open the door does it feel cooler in there yeah big time yeah so it should work it'd be cool to do another fall challenge here if we can swing it yeah Hopefully we this can. This is super cool. Right? Like now we can just have the stuff. Last year we we're scrambling with. That's a clever gasket. Yeah, just rubber. Yeah. We we're struggling with getting uh, even power down here and then trying to run a freezer and all that stuff. But I think in time, all that stuff's going to be all ready to go. There's already frogs in it. Yeah, I heard them jumping while we were there. It's not super cold. Oh. But, it's uh, like refreshing cold, yeah. not like... But it was like super hot today. But yeah, it might be colder. Yeah, at the bottom, oh, the bottom's right? super cold. You might be able to see some this tracks. Is a smart use for all that excavated pond soil too, right? Yeah. A lot of the times people just lump it all around the edges and then they try and berm it out or something. But this is gets it kind of away from that site and then puts it to good use. Yeah, I was careful in my recommendations <laughs> as the older brother to make sure he sorted the clay from the topsoil and then have a plan. So that's, we started doing this trail a long time ago. Okay. So that was cut and ready and then just shove it all back in here. And then you're not removing anything from the property. You're just kind of moving it around and making the property better. Well, there's a little bit left. We had all this all flattened out so we could kind of, we could swim in it. And this is before the pond. But you see there's lots of minnows down here. We did a little bit of excavating and kind of threw the mud up top so okay. we could kind of stand here, but it's not really working out as we had planned. Looks like a pretty soft bottom. Yeah. I wouldn't bathe in there. No, it's not too bad actually. <laughs> no. It's kind of a clay bottom at some point. Yeah, okay. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't bathe down here either. <laughs> but uh, Kevin might get like the bathtub out here and you could fill yeah. it up and then start a fire. 
Yeah. You ever seen one of those fire? Yeah. I think that would be a really cool concept. All right, well, I'll meet you guys back up the cabin. And that was a good enough tour for you guys. See all the updates. And if you want to go to Kevin's channel, you can actually watch him build all of the things. Well, we got her all situated awaited in here. Kind of back to looking like a cabin instead of a construction zone. Okay, seen inside here yet? Still a little messy. There's still some unfinished projects. <laughs> I only got the hinge. There's no hinge. I just got, I just got the hinge. <laughs> There's that deer rack. I got hung up. It's the smallest buck I ever shot, Jer. Admire it. It's the only one you ever shot? <laughs> no, I've got, I should show off my big ones. Oh, I think we're just gonna relax. It's stif stiflingly hot for uh, end of August here. A heat wave. Yeah, the, oh. it's only going down to like 19 degrees tonight too, so it's not gonna be that cool. 19 Canadian? Yeah, 19 Canadian. Did you see I got the American, the American thermometer in here? Where does it go? Is it in the Hobbit house? No, there's one in there too. Where's? Doesn't, doesn't account for the humidity. 77.9 Fahrenheit. Se yeah, What's the humidity though? 90? 73%. Only 73? 73%. <laughs> 73% is, that's we could, that. Let's boil some things and get it up to 100. Yeah. Huh. It's like 80 degrees at 8.30 in the evening at 73% humidity. Oh, that's like... It's pretty hot. To me, it's Florida weather. That's, that's 90. Let's just keep going up. <laughs> yeah. It's not good for Canadians, I'll tell you what. I do a uh, heck of a lot cooler than this. Anyway, I think we're just gonna hang out and we're gonna go to bed and then we're gonna wake up and we're gonna do some stuff, so I'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning, guys. How'd you sleep? Good. Good. Just Me like, and the bat? You and the bat. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So there's a bat. Bat got in last night, and but thankfully got back out. Yep. <laughs> Um, what do we got going on? We're gonna get this started up. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna yeah, get we'll grab some starter stuff. Sure. Okay. Jerry's gonna grab some kindling. So I got some ingredients here. I've got some corn massa flour. So we're gonna actually make the tortilla from scratch. We'll get this fired up. Get this nice and warm. And we're gonna have to use that smokehouse for probably three hours to get that fish ready. So we're gonna chill out. First layer is really fine balsam branches. Second layer, chunkier balsam branches. Punch these guys up, fold them in half. Bigger kindling, hopefully it's got enough heat to burn that as well. Just hang that salmon right up here in that smoke. <laughs> okay, we could also just throw it inside. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we took the time yesterday at the river. We were pretty beat last, last day, but uh, what'd you think of the fishing? Uh, super interesting to fish that small of a water for that size of a fish. Yeah. Where you can see their backs out of the water. Yeah. Or you look and you're like, oh, there's a fish there. Yeah. Like, and they look like yay big. And then Scott hooks it and gets it just out of like, you know, maybe the pool is kind of that deep and you can't quite clearly see them. And then you get them into the shallow water and they're like <laughs> 25 pounds. Like, oh my God. Yeah. I'm trying to explain to Jerry how we're going to do this. And he's like, we're gonna see them, like see them. I'm like, yeah, see them, because we're used to creek fishing, and you can't really see a little no, brookie in you that just read size the water, pool. Right? Yeah, and you kind like... of have an idea where one would be. And then the first one we saw, like Jared, it's right there. He's like looking at it, like, you ever seen a fish that big in water that shallow? No. Yeah. Um, we had some chances. It wasn't the greatest day to go. We'll see if we get another chance, maybe later in the year, to come out back yeah. out. It'll, I'm later season. It'll be busy. There'll be lots of fish. There won't be any fish to eat. It'll be more just to kind of experience the run. I mean, they'll, be, they'll be pretty run down by then. I'm really happy but, to have had the chance to fish it before it gets busy there. Yeah. Because I, I mean, think that would have kind of turned me off. Yeah, if you were just like that was my first shoulder trip to shoulder. Was like 600 people on the river. Yeah. It's like a construction zone out here. Yeah, that's good. I'm trying to enjoy peace and quiet. It's the sound of progress. <laughs> There's so many tools all laying around everywhere <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. Jerry's like, there's lots of going on. There's ladders and tools just scattered everywhere. A little yeah. bit some pieces. Doesn't even need a handle. It's a perfect fit. Well, that probably needs a handle. How's that apple tree doing for handles? We got a cherry tree just over here. Well, it's not the tall tree, but a branch of the cherry tree fell down. 
So we're gonna grab some wet wood to throw in the smoker and that should do the trick. If we put anything dry in there, it's completely burning up and it's not making good smoke. So cherry, apple, I mean, we've done, we've smoked a fish with maple. It works fine. You guys probably have some other suggestions as to what works really good. It's probably some things you don't want to use, but cherry, I don't know. Maybe the hardwoods. Hey, I've done alder. Alder's my personal favorite. Well, we've used pine I wouldn't recommend. Spruce is all right. We had that, it was okay. It was. It's a little, it has more of a bite to it. So I'm gonna try some cherry, see what that turns out to be. Pork, uh, like spit roast pork you'll ever have is on a bed of cherry coals. Okay. I don't know. We've got some applewood too. I think but I think apple the apple wood's a little bit dry for smoking. We'd have to soak it. Is that the one Just that was down? Mix it in. Yeah, it would be really dry right now. We'd have to make it like cut it up and then dunk it in the, the, the pond yeah, or whatever. Yeah, just dip it or something. I don't know. Maybe. Soak it for about an hour. That's a flat tire, I think. <laughs> it's a little low. It's not flat. It's low. low. Oh, it's so low. <laughs> That's why it's hard to push. No wonder your brother's got a sore back. <laughs> Oh, Kevin's got the door on here, but uh, it's a little sticky and it's a little smoky. It's not perfectly smoky. So Jer's uh, got a cherry tree. Let me put too much cherry tree in. <laughs> the fine art of smoking. <laughs> now we got to restart the fire and then put a little bit less wet wood to get the right mixture. Once we get it going, it should be able to put as much wet wood as we want in there. We'll get apple wood too. It's a dry apple. Apple, cherry, wood smoked, fresh caught salmon, taco, and a tortilla. <laughs> yeah. Fillet, fillets, or fillets. Is it a tortilla? Is it tortilla or tortilla? Is it fillet or fillet? Because Americans call them fillets. I think so. And we call them fillets. Yeah. Yeah, we're right. How about that? We're, we're, we're also very right. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, we're also very right. <laughs> how about that? Hey. <laughs> We're gonna smoke some fish, eh? Put the fresh fillet in, eh? Watching Kevin's channel, you'll notice that there'll always be like a build, and then there'll be a sub build. A sub build is like fixing or tweaking yeah. the initial build. After build? Yeah, the after. That is not true. We're gonna have to We've call. We only it had that. one minor mishap, and it was because I had wrong advice from the internet. <laughs> you ever had wrong <laughs> advice from the internet? You're... So yeah, the water tank blew up. It 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 still technically held water lots of good comments about our, our uh, hat hook thing because they a lot of people said they should have, the peg should have been oriented upwards so it had to be a rebuild on that one have you noticed the hat hook behind the door it's like yeah. they're straight out where should have made oh, them angled yeah. you gotta like put your drill on an angle do or... people stay up at night thinking about that no i think they're just smarter than we are so the question is when do i put the gloves on <laughs> they're kevin's gloves yeah <laughs> i'm gonna just do it right away he knows what he's been using them for though it smells like wood. Yeah. So we had to keep it in the cooler overnight so it didn't spoil. Looks like it's in good condition. Now what? Do I use the gloves or my hands? Your hands. Okay, I'll use the gloves then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna do this real simple. We're just gonna just gonna spread it out. Look at that big slab of meat. We're not gonna be able to eat all this. No, but we can try. It's gonna be a lot of fish tacos. You're gonna take the rest home, right? Yep. Okay. So if you haven't noticed, Jerry's actually the one filming. We put some adobo on there. Is that enough, do you think, or should? No, oh, it's way, way enough. Way enough? And you're not slicing the meat, you're just gonna leave it as a whole slab? Well. Because you know we've done that before when we've smoked fish, right? Let Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, a little bit of slicing. Yeah, give me a second. It is a big chunk of meat. Now you get to reveal all my filleting technique. I'm not selling the spice, I just really like it, Jeremy. Yeah. Okay, I'll get it some in. It's not true, he brushes it all off before he eats it. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a kicker? <laughs> all right, let's get it in the smoker. I think everybody loves the spice. Don't know anybody who doesn't. Looks good. How does that look? Uh, really, really good. All right, let's get it in the smoker. Like sideways like this? Or just like this? No, you just go on. Okay. Let's fool around. Oh. Alright, there we go. Okay, quick, quick don't lose all my smoke. Pull down and out. I'm not I'm not opening it. God, so many micromanagers now. Everybody has their own channel. Everybody has their own take. This is my take. It's already in there. I'm not pulling it back out. We're gonna wait three hours and we're gonna eat. I'm gonna take you guys for a walk. Wanna go to the back, Jerry? 
Or do you want to, do you want to relax? So change of plans. We're, well, we might check the trail cameras, but uh, I want to take Jerry on a little bit of a tour. And I actually just remembered that there are puffball mushrooms in season. So we might be able to get an addition to our lunch. It would be pretty cool. Jamie's an expert, but you don't need to be an expert to know what a puffball mushroom is, especially the giant ones. So we'll see what we can run into. I know there was some out here last year and the timing should just be about right. It's late August now, as we've been mentioning. And so that's just about the right time. You can get those dandy schmandy mushrooms to go along with everything else we got. It looks like a giant onion, but it doesn't smell like one. Looks like a giant green onion. <laughs> Have you seen that? It's a type of a reed with, uh, it's like it's flowering top. Um, I, f I forget what it's called, or a bulrush. Bulrush, maybe, yeah. Yeah. But so the bull, this is toxic, but it grows alongside the edible cattail. So I think this is one you're supposed to be careful of. You don't eat the root of this one, right? Uh, is that what it was? Well, bulrushes, I think, have an edible seed top, maybe. Maybe, like, but I don't I think the root, part. I think the root is not edible. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys have to look that but up. But it might not look the same either. No. It might be one of those things that people worry about because they grow side by side, but really if you know anything about what the roots or the rhizomes look like. Then... Yeah. That's what I was getting at more of like, I've never identified a bulrush, mm. but when the, the description we read the other day was the bulrush looked like a cattail or grew in the same habitat as a cattail. Oh, that's a nightshade, isn't it? It looks like one. It is a nightshade. And it's a nightshade. It's a nightshade growing all in with this uh, red bark, red twig dogwood. That'll kill you. Nightshade will? No? It might make you sick. <laughs> that's the one, that's one of the ones you're, you're not supposed to eat. Then. Oh yeah, you're not supposed to eat it. Right. This m might look like nothing to a lot of people, but uh, if you notice lots of turkey feathers around here, it's a turkey dusting spot where the turkeys will come in and then they'll fluff around and try to get all the mites that they carry around off their bodies. So yeah, pretty cool. Feathers all around here using that dusty spot. Should uh, keep an eye out because there could be puffballs just about anywhere here. The perfect habitat, hardwood. Oh, there's one up top, so Scott saw it, but it's too uh, too far gone. That one's not a big one though, but ooh, that one might be not so good either. It's got some holes in it. Just cut around them. Yeah, you want to pick it up? I'll grab this one. Oh. oh. Yeah. Mm, it's got holes in it. Yeah, no. It's no good, eh? It's gone. No, not when it has a hole in it like that. No. Yeah, something's been living in there. Well, or it's just, just they it's, mature and they rot. It's part of their whole strategy, I think, to yeah, you think it's just, spread. It might be too late then. So sometimes when you find a puffball like this, you'll find a spot where you'll see them coming up. Like, I don't see any here right now, but you'll see a spot where they're just starting. And you come back like two, three, actually there's one over here. I'm gonna look at it. And maybe not. Yeah, like that. So where it's white right there. A puffball might come up from there and it, they're just starting to grow so you come back like a week from now and they'll be decent size oh that's a little bit disappointing that's what happens when you snooze you lose i did tend to come out look at the puffballs about a week ago people were starting to put some reports out that they were ready but it could be just that warm weather just making them turn faster jerry even missed that one <laughs> and i'm pointing at it to scott i'm like ah it's got to be one but uh, I don't know. Well, that one looks to be a little bit better shape. Maybe. Oh no, there's, this one's gone too, dude. See? We're too, oh, yeah, that's way we're too late. I don't know if we want to pick it or not. Uh -huh. Just because of how small it is. But see, this one right here will actually end up being really big. Yeah, it's, it is ready to pick. It's already going soft. Well, we might as well grab it then. Yeah. That one just didn't have a good foot. Oh. oh, it's gone too. Yep. <laughs> well. well, I'll open it up so you can see. Yeah. Yeah, this one will be no good. It smells mushroomy, <laughs> but not in a good way. <laughs> it smells like when you leave a mushroom in your fridge too long and make some rock soup out of it. Rock soup? Yeah. Puffball soup? No, rock soup. Oh. It's very so nutritious. That's not what we're looking for? No, we're not looking for rocks. Oh. I, think, uh, I think we're too late. Unless you want to keep looking. I don't think you'll find one in the field, but I am no expert. I'm here learning like you guys. Down. Oh, down, not up. Why, geez, you, you gotta eat some more during the day, Chris. I'm trying to. Um, so we did some mental math and we did some searching around 
And uh, unless you freeze the fish first, cold smoking is not really a great idea unless you're gonna do it for 12 hours. And we ran, we ran out of 12 hours of time. So what we're gonna do is gonna cheat a little bit. Oh, if I don't hurt myself. Oh, and the fish is running off everywhere. Yeah, a lot of fish juice. A lot of fish juice. So what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna throw it on the barbecue to finish it. But we're just not gonna get a dangerous, harmful bacteria or something like that. Look at that, fits in perfectly. So we're just gonna do that medium heat, finish it off. We're still gonna have the smoke flavor, I hope. We'll find out anyway. Shove everything aside here. Hey, Jared, do you wanna try some of that raw salmon yet? <laughs> gonna get to give it a go. I'm out on that one. I'd rather play it safe, but Jeremy, uh, he feels like it's gonna be safe enough to eat. So before it gets too cooked in there, you gonna jump in and grab a bite? Uh, look, somebody already grabbed a bite. <laughs> Is that you? That was Scott. <laughs> How was it? Good. It was good? Got the mass of corn, corn flour. This is exactly what they use it for. So we're finally using it for what they use it for. Scott's got the frying pan, the nonstick. I think uh, Jeremy's over there with a piece of slate working on his. And I'm just holding it by hand. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. <laughs> you just throw it in there. I just throw it in there. Look at it, it's perfect. Oh, I ruined it. Can't believe that. Just too, pinch it. Too much playing around with it. I have a hole where all my stuff's gonna fall out. Ow. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> killed it. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Ah, too. My eyes. I'm fish, eating fish, fish and corn tortilla. <laughs> fish taco. <laughs> fish taco. Not even a taco. It's it's. it's oh, if it folds it in half, it would be. <laughs> I don't think. We'll... We gotta make it a little crunchier. There, there, there you go. Keep it simple, right? Make it taste gooder. 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 Take a bite. Want to eat the piece with the ash? Yeah. That's how they make the masa. They use ash. Not anymore, but... If I was stuck in the forest, I'd eat that. It's pretty good. <laughs> I have a question, guys. Um, why is there bits of holes missing out of this fish right now? And I haven't even got mine in the oven yet. <laughs> I don't hurry up. I'm not going to get anything to eat. I think I'm the most patient of the bunch. Apparently, I've done enough wilderness living survival challenges that I can kind of hold off on the hunger business. So I, I hid mine inside because I'm tired of the flies out there. Oh, we slide it in there beautifully. That's what you get for all the patients. And uh, hopefully we get the perfectest wrap of the bunch. You just waited until we ate up all the soot off the pizza stone. The ash is the best part. Well, we then... The last. Yeah. Oh, look at that beauty. You got everything put together on that one. Yeah, I do. Put a taco together. He's the only one who forgot the tomatoes though, so he's not the complete. No. No. I'm gonna film on mine. Looks pretty good though. Good. Worth all the effort? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Always. Kind of a mix. Sal salsa? No. No salsa. I'm gonna put it together with everything and make a proper fish taco. I'm gonna flip this. Did you guys flip them? Yep. Oh, I don't know. That's how we broke it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I can tell that's gonna break. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it. Try Use to do the back it. of the frying pan. Try to do it the smart way. I think I can flip it with my hand. Maybe I can't. Oh God, hold on, hold on. Like that, whoa. Let's do it smart. Hmm. That's how it's done. Graceful. So graceful. And into the fire where she goes. For round number two. Oh, alrighty then. Look at that. Beauty. Proper meal like a gentleman. So we got onions. Red onions. I got lettuce and we got tomatoes. I don't know how I ended up with so many tomatoes. Nobody used any. Everybody said they were going to use some, but nobody used any. Look at that beautiful color we have going on here. And then we got to find the places that don't have bones. I'm just going to jump that in there. Beauty. A little bit of salsa. The question is, 
if I made this properly, if it's gonna wrap or rip. But we gotta take a bite before it breaks apart. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, gotta turn it around. Okay, here we go, ready? Oh, so good. All right, bye, see ya.